Good morning, ladies and gents. Craig from Violent D. I haven't done a uh, YouTube video in a while, so I thought I'd give you a give you a quick update on what we've been doing. So, the E30 Touring, that's had a whole new look. This was the one with the Bastos livery on that I've done. I kind of miss it. It, look, it looked really cool before, but I really want like a street style car. I've always been known for like my street style cars, so yeah, that's, that's how this is going to go. We've put new wheels on it there's a few lip splitters on it there's um new skirts on it i've custom made some stuff as well i'll run you through what i've done that's that's kind of the point of this video today i've done a mark free golf spoiler on the back which looks absolutely rad and also i made like a mid-wing which is uh i'll show you in a bit there's a mid-wing which is made out of an mtech one spoiler for a saloon so yeah that's pretty cool but yeah this this car's red i can't done and it looks so aggressive we blew the engine up at Driftland, so we're just putting a stock 323 back in it. Hopefully next year it's going an S54, so E46 M3 lump, which would be so sick. But it looks so aggressive, this car. I literally wait to get this back out. So we put a new little, sorry, excuse my hands, are covered in Tiger Seal from doing the back. Um, but yeah, little little uh, lip kit, which obviously goes on underneath the standard IS splitter. What else we've done? We've put some Oz Roots on there, Sixteens, unique custom skirts, which were for a 36. And what I've done is I just cut the end cap off and re-fiberglassed them on, so that's all nice and neat. Made some custom spats from KZ Klee, I think they are. I think they're in Poland. Um, and also fitted a diffuser underneath, tinted rear lights, and that there is the mid-wing. That's what everyone's been asking me about yesterday, because... Um, that was custom made, custom fit, because they don't actually do one for an E30 Touring. But the profile looks so sick on it, it looks so wicked. Um, and there is the Mark III Golf spoiler. And I'll run you through, I'll run you through what we've done to get them fitted, because they were a little bit of messing around, to be honest. But there, yeah, it looks so rad, the profile on the back now. I'm really happy with it. So... That one there, normally people bond them to a stock spoiler, which is, if I run over and show you quickly, so if I grab everything over here actually. Oh, there we go. So, all of this stuff is what we cut out. So basically, the stock, stock rear spoiler, I bent it off because it's got some metal inside, but um, bent it getting it off. So that obviously sat like that before. To, it followed that line and it sat like that. The Mark III Golf one is nothing like this shape. So what we had to do was, like I say most people bond it to that, but I didn't like the gap that it left here, like the line. So what I done was I got that, I made a template of that shape going all the way around and I cut the edge of this off, like all the way so it fits inside that. Excuse all the tiger seal, I still got to clean it all up, but it fits perfect now to that edge lip which goes around. And it just gives it that really nice profile. Obviously all the edges still need f finishing in and stuff, but yeah, it looks absolutely red. So that was that. Um, when you get these, they will come with a middle piece, which is this, which we had to cut out. So that is all basically bonded on. If you can imagine that's, uh, why am I doing it? Sorry, that's like that. So that's inside this spoiler and you have to cut it all out all the way along the back and all the way along the back piece. So that bit's discarded, that's nothing. Um, and that, that leaves that. So it makes it a bit more pliable so you can bend it around to get in. This one was a, a lot more complex to do. Um, basically, that's the rear half that got cut off of it. So that will sit initially like that. So that will sit like that. Um, if you can see there's a line, you might not see it because it's obviously um, a bit tiger sealed on, but there's a line here which we followed. We cut like five mil back from that line and we slowly, slowly trimmed it across the window. Um, and yeah, and we cut the back out. So we hollowed it all out. We sprayed it with expanding foam because this was all hollow and I didn't want it cracking. So that's all got now foam inside. If you imagine we've just cut a line with an angle grinder right the way along the inside edge but still keeping like the cut out for the boot badge. So it looks kind of factory. So yeah, I think it looks sick. 
I haven't discarded that yet because I really like that profile. Anything that's custom formed on like fiberglass, that I'll keep because if you turn it that way, it reminds me of like the drag wing from a URS ER34. So I thought I might even make that and kind of bond that onto something, make that into something cool for a future project. But yeah, that's, that's basically what we've been up to. So this should be done hopefully soon. I mean, my mate Reese is doing the engine, that should be in soon. Um, and then I get down to my mate Jake to get it painted. I was gonna wrap it, but the bodywork is kind of rough. So I want it all done and done and painted black again. So should look pretty mean. What else we got going on? Not a lot else going on at the moment. Mate's building that for his missus. Uh, that's Evie's S13, going SR20 DE. Um, still got core wheels, we sold most of the back wheels. VSKFs are gone, SSR Vienna's gone, Mark 1's have gone. The only things I've got now are the Euro, Euro lines here. They're 15 by 8 minus 5, so pretty rad size. They're still for sale. Um, what else have I got? A few exhausts. No spec R, silent power, and just some Barry Boy exhaust, which is pretty cool. I love an outrolled man. His RS Turbo look, I love it. Uh, what else have I got going down? I can't think what else I've got going on at the moment. We're doing a load of trade shows, absolutely tons of trade shows at the moment. We was at, um, where was we? Oh, we've done Dory Fest. We've done a few of the East Coast Japanese meets. We was at Go Japan at Brands Hatch. We're hopefully, ne this weekend coming, hopefully we're doing the Jap show at Santa Pod. Um, and then we've got another East Coast Japanese meet after that. So yeah, you can always find us. We've got tons and tons of cool JDM coffees in there. Around, so... Let's do the coffees first, my favourite. So the boss, we've got the premium boss, Rainbow, Cafe LA Blacks. Then we've got the Georgia brands, we've got Georgia Grand. There, we've got the Georgia Emerald Mountain Blend, which is that one. You always see Noriaro and Samet drinking these, so super, super red. Then we've got the Fire brand, so yeah, really, really cool. Um, we've also got the Sailor Moon range from Ocean Bomb. And also from Ocean Bomb, we've got the Dragon Ball Z range, so yeah, very, very cool. Little Pikachu hiding in the corner as well. And these ones are the ones with the glass ball bearings, and you have to pop the glass ball bearings in to drink them. Absolutely ages to figure that out how to actually get into them, so yeah, they're, they're really cool. Um, yeah, no, but other than that, we're, we're cracking on. We haven't done many liveries lately. We've been so flat out with the trade shows that we haven't actually had in a been advertising liveries and stuff lately but yeah we've got a, we've got a couple i've got i think i've got a mitsubishi evolution which we're wrapping in yellow so and we've got another couple of liveries coming in so yeah we, we should be have more content i'm gonna i'm gonna try and do a few more youtube videos because i don't i don't do enough and we've always got rad stuff in and i and i literally don't film any of it i should have filmed making the spoilers and stuff because everyone was asking but yeah this is gonna be cool when i get this back out again i'm gonna book another couple of days private hire at driftland Kick its head in, hopefully not blow the engine up, but i say next year will be the year because we're trying to run a few drift days. So this here, Run Harder, that's what the event's going to be called, Run Harder Events, Drive Hard Maximum Style. And we're going to try and get some cool bits going with that next year because this car is pretty much there now. So sick. I need a new steering wheel, but yeah. Sick. Anyhow, nice one, guys. Catch you soon.